Welcome to a tutorial on how to install the Core Protect plugin onto your server hosted by Apex. Basically, Core Protect was made for griefing detection, so you could tell who placed TNT and who ignited it, and even down to what second of the day they did it on. You can do this by manually inspecting or getting more in depth by searching up the history with commands. All you have to do to enter inspector mode is press slash C O and then I and then inspector mode becomes enabled. So now that I am in inspector mode, I'm gonna right click on this flower and you can see that it says I place it, oh, I can left click and right click, um, but specifically left clicking makes it so that you can see in like a little, a small area who placed something. Uh, so you can see that I removed some crops, I placed some crops. You can see that I removed some water just by clicking it. Now that I am in inspector mode, I'm going to go ahead and look around and left click on a bunch of different items and you can see that I place them. You can see that I place these. You can see that I placed all of this. But if you really want to do something interesting, you could just go ahead and type C O and then near, which just looks up everything in your area. So you can see when I hopped in the server, about a sixth of an hour ago, I killed a skeleton, I removed some gravel, and I destroyed some grass in this area. That just shows local information. You can also search up day by day, hour by hour, by typing C-O-L and then L, and this searches, uh, searches it up by pages. So if I look on page zero, you can see that I killed a skeleton, I removed the grass, and that's exactly what I did right here when I hopped into the server. Now that we've gone over some basic commands that you can use with the plugin, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin onto your server through Multicraft's server tools. Core Protect is a server inspection plugin designed with the purpose of seeing what users are up to on your server. Using the tool, you can see what so much of users are up to, either by manually inspecting or looking up with commands up to the exact second that a user did something. This mod is primarily used for griefing inspection, but has a rather wide range of uses. First things first, we're going to want to open up the Multicraft panel for your server and scroll down to jar selection. You're going to want to make sure that your server is on a jar version of spigot or paper that is compatible with Core Protect. Then you're going to want to head into your plugins list on the left right here and look up Core Pro and then press enter and Core Protect should be the first thing to pop up. Clicking on Core Protect, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the versions on the left right here. The line that we need is this right here. By cross-checking on the website, we can see that they have a version that is compatible with this version of Minecraft. So we're going to want to make note of the number at the end there. And make sure that when we scroll down, we grab the 2.14.4 version of Core Protect for our server. and then. Finally, click Install. One of the most important parts to Core Protect is logging. In short, logging is when your data is saved for future reference. For example, if you did something in April, you would be able to check it later in June. MySQL does just that. It logs server activity, including Core Protect, to be checked at a later date. The first step to connecting MySQL is by going to the MySQL database tab on the left here. Go ahead and create a database and make note of your login info when it is created. So here you're gonna to have to make note of your host, your name, your username, and your password. Go ahead and make a new tab of your server's main Multicraft page, and then head into Configure Files. Go ahead and look for the Corporatect configure.yml. Click on that, and right as you see here, you're gonna see the MySQL information. Now on step two, we made note of all the login information. We're gonna copy and paste everything from our first tab into the second tab. So the host is gonna be this. Make sure to copy that, place that into the host. Make sure you grab your name. Make sure you grab your password. Make sure to save and then restart your server. Once your server is fully restarted, all of your core protect, your chats, all of that great stuff will be logged so that you can check it in the future. And a good way to check if you've installed the correct version of Core Protect and you have the right jar version for Minecraft is to head over to the console tab and click it. 
Not only can we see that the server is done loading, but we can also see that Core Protect has been successfully enabled. Now you can hop in to your server. Now that we have Core Protect installed on our server, we can go ahead and hop in. And once you're in, you can see that it logs everything. It logs things from blocks broken by players uh, to flints ignited, trampled crops, and so much more. Oh, yeah, it'll probably log me killing the skeleton too. So you can left click blocks to see who has placed blocks. So let's say I do COI again, and I place down this block, and then these two blocks right here, and then I enter COI, I can click that and see that within the hour, I place these three blocks. Below this video, I've linked a very simple page and video, both of which go over commands that you can mess around with to become more comfortable with Core Protect. Thank you for using an Apex server. We hope you found this tutorial useful, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun.